Hello and welcome again to The Simple Skeptic. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit the little bell, you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. And hit the thumbs up or thumbs down. Your choice. I'm going to start this video with a warning. I don't think I've ever done that before. What you're about to see could be very disturbing to some people. You're going to watch a young woman get verbally abused and bullied. She gives a pretty good account of herself from the little bit you can you can hear over the bullying, but um, this is not pleasant to watch. Uh, this guy is a uh, pastor at Grace Missionary Baptist Church in Scarborough, Ontario. Name is Jeffrey Saposinic, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he shows up at quite a few of the drag story time uh, events at libraries. He usually has some wimpy little assistant with him. He has a bullhorn and he harangues everybody going in at extreme volume. Now he has a right to freedom of speech. I have no problem with that. I will stand up for his freedom, to, freedom of speech. But he does it at such a volume and in such a way that the police there have actually asked him to tone it down. Normally they don't take sides in things like that, but they have actually asked him to tone it down because of his volume and his rhetoric. Um, that'll give you some indication of what he's like. He is an abusive bully. And, uh, well, let's take a look at the video and be warned. You're selling your body dressed the way you are for money. There's other ways to make a living where actually you'll have your dignity intact. No, you don't. You dress like a whore. What man's going to take you seriously? MD? What man's going to take you seriously, man? No, they're not. They want a modest man. They want a woman of character. See, my wife bore six children. She homeschools six children. And you know what? She'll make, she'll make you look this small. She'll work you under the table. But you know what? If you repent and get right with God, what are you living for? Myself? Well, that's your problem. You're just like the Satan, your father, living for self. Yes, unfortunately, there are people like that in this world. Um, we, we could go into all sorts of things here. Um, is the Hooters uh, concept uh, sexist? Uh, degrading to women Th that's a whole separate issue um, she uh, probably took that job voluntarily willingly um, I don't see that uh, there's any coercion involved in them getting those jobs they know that when they go into those jobs they're required to wear skimpy outfits and uh, perhaps act a little uh, sexy okay no problem there are bigger issues than that going on in the world um, she, uh, she, as I said, seemed to give a pretty good account of herself, but you couldn't hear it much. But she obviously wasn't taking his crap. Now, I want to address this idiotic issue I've heard before. You hear it about everything from her to flat-out sex workers. Um, selling your body. Okay, do we degrade bricklayers for selling their bodies? Do we degrade bus drivers for selling their bodies? A surgeon works with their fingers. Do we tell them that they're just selling their bodies and their minds? Lawyers and accountants. Do we tell them that they're just selling their minds? It's a ridiculous, outdated way of speaking to people. That in itself, telling them that they're just selling themselves, is degrading. A person has the right to take up whatever occupation they wish, as long as they're not harming anyone, as long as they're doing it legally. Hey, I'll even take someone doing something illegally if I don't see anything immoral about it. Um, but to him, it's all about imposing his religious beliefs on everyone, doing it in public, shouting her down outside of her place of employment, and uh, just bullying and abusing her. Uh, I'm sure that he feels proud of himself. I'm sure that he loved going there. He got a great view, didn't he? 
I'm not going to say what he did when he got home, but you can probably guess. I mean, he's got six children. He likes to make himself look tough by shaving his head, having that evil looking little beard. But um, that is the sort of stuff that we have to fight. It just saying that is degrading. Telling people that they're just selling themselves is something that has to stop. And if you see anybody doing that, call them out for it. People can take up whatever occupation they wish. If they want to use their minds, their bodies, or a combination thereof, hey, don't judge. Have a nice day.